How to get rid of creeping Charlie creeping Jenny A perennial weed that creeps into your garden and yard, taking over any empty piece of landscape, is known as Glycoma heterosea or creeping Charlie and creeping Jenny. This weed features the appearance of a vine and spreads its roots as deep as it extends its above ground reach. To remove this weed, you must permanently kill all traces to prevent a reassurance. Through the use of herbicides and physical removal, your garden can be free of the vine. Afterward, it is important to remove the shade and moisture-rich conditions Creeping Charlie and Creeping Jenny thrive on. Things you will need Roundup herbicide Vertical mower Rake Tree cutter Mulch Using herbicide Obtain weed killer that features glyphosate as one of the main ingredients. Roundup is one such herbicide that you can use. However, these herbicides will kill all plant life, so exercise caution when spraying. Plan for a 3-4 to four day dry spell before spraying the herbicide. Rainfall will wash away the chemicals, both lessening the effect as well as spreading it to other areas of your lawn and garden. Spray the Creeping Charlie and Creeping Jenny with the herbicide at both the start of the growing season and at the end. Do you want to attack the vine before it has a chance to flower, and also as it prepares to go into dormancy? Repeat the spraying six weeks after the initial application if there is continued growth. Continue to do so until the final fall spraying. Physical Removal Locate the vines and grip the bottom as close as you can get to the roots. Pull the vines out of the ground and dispose of them directly into a waste container. Till the soil using a vertical mower. This will bring the roots of the vines to the surface of the ground, where they can be raked up and thrown away. Repeat the tilling and raking over the course of a week to remove all traces of the vines. Cover the vines with a thick layer of mulch. Keeping at least 4 inches of cover will prevent any last remnants of the vines from returning. Changing Conditions Remove any tree branches or bushes that are providing shade for the vines. As you increase the amount of sun to the area, the vines will begin to dry out. Decrease the amount of water in the area. Creeping Charlie and Creeping Jenny require damp, shaded conditions. With less water and more sunlight, the conditions will not be ideal for survival. Reseed any area around the vines and keep the lawn thick to decrease the available area the vines have to expand. Combat the Creeping Charlie and Creeping Jenny with additional plants. By increasing the amount of plants fighting for nutrients, stronger plants such as English ivy will cause the weeds to wither. Tips Warnings Don't attempt to pull the vine after an application of herbicide. This can lead to health risks. Wait several weeks after spraying before attempting a physical removal.